All right, so what we're gonna do tonight is make vintage upcycled luminaries with these vintage graphics on them. Super easy project to do. All you need is a printer, some printer paper, a box, and a craft knife and some hot glue. So let's rock on over to na 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 Craft cam! All right, so this is uh, the finished project. And like I said, what you're going to need are your graphics from graphicsfairy.blogspot.com. You can go there, find all kinds of vintage uh, projects or, or she does background. She does all kinds of awesome things that she finds. I always recommend going there for any sort of vintage type of uh, inspired projects because she just does wonderful things. You know what else I love about vintage projects? For the most part, they're like my easy kind of projects because you you know to make something look old you really don't have to do a whole lot in fact if you mess up which I do a lot of um then it, you can just be like oh it's vintage <laughs> so so what we did here is we we uh took a graphic we printed it on regular printer paper at the uh size of the box so that it will fit in just perfect but before we did that, we took a look at Ortega. Who wants some Ortega tacos? Before we did that is we just undid our box. We measured what the front face was going to be. So this is about five by seven or something like that. And then we cut out a piece of paper the same size, like the five by seven size, folded it up into two, and then I just cut a nice little decorative border around because you can't have like just a box holding it. It has to be have like some sort of a frame. Then I took that, put it on my face, I traced it out, and then I got my craft knife. And we all know you don't wanna watch me cut things out with a craft knife. So I got my craft knife and I cut that out. And then what I actually did was I measured the inside area, so the framing area where my, my graphic is actually gonna show. Then I printed out my graphic to that size. Does so that make sense? Because you just want to make sure that you have, you know, the right graphic showing. Some, some people want some part of their graphic showing, other people want other parts. Very easy to do. Very, very easy to do. Okay. This could even be considered a warm-up craft. This is going to be the exterior of your whole entire project, but it looks pretty plain and boxy right now. So what we need to do is we need to give it a vintage look. And you know my technique for vintaging things really fast is to take a stamp pad and just start brushing it on your project. Uh, for this one, I'm just kind of rubbing, um, oops, sorry, microphone. Uh, and then you can do a couple different colors because my project has lots of greens and browns in it. I'm probably gonna do like a teal and maybe a, a green but we'll see what I have nearby this is a Stampin' Up pad I you'll see me using this a lot because um, I, I bought these a long time ago and I just love having them around <laughs> I actually don't do it's funny because I do less stamping with this and more of this type of project where I'm like just rubbing it and vintaging something <laughs> is vintaging even a word <laughs> I don't I doubt it is I doubt it is okay so, just go all over, and of course you want to do the back of the box as well, because somebody might see the back of your box. <laughs> don't worry if you don't, you know, do it all perfect, because, like I said, vintage projects are the best projects, because they're not, vintage isn't perfect, it looks weathered, it look, doesn't look perfect. So, it's just like this great, great thing to be able to say, oh, it's vintage. Okay, because I have a horizontal um, frame here, I need to cut out a hole for my lights. And that hole is going to be on this side, so I call it a little mouse hole. And I'm just cutting a mouse hole all the way up here. Now, because I have to just do this disclaimer, do not put real candles in this, please, people. <laughs> I know. I know you're smarter than the average bear, but <laughs> please, <laughs> please don't put real candles in these luminaries because <laughs> it will go up in flames. But what you can put in there are some of those fake candles or what I have, I'll show you right now, I have these really cool 
battery powered LEDs. Love them. If you guys find these at the store, I tell you right now, they are hard to come by. So if you find them, buy like 20 of them. Okay, well, buy, buy a few of them because they come in very handy. If you couldn't already tell, I love luminary projects. So I have myself a bunch of uh, kind of fake lighting solutions in my house. All right, so we need to get our little moosey moose inside the frame. And the reason why we did uh, printer paper is because it is a semi, uh, you know, translucent kind of paper. And all I'm doing is just piping a little bit of hot glue around the frame here. You can use um, any type of glue that you want to, but <laughs> I love my hot glue. So make sure that he's put on correctly. <laughs> I probably put him on upside down. Oh, no, I didn't. And um, I only put one color of my ink on because I wanted to see what he looked like in the frame and maybe even I wanted to give him a little bit of ink on the paper so that it kind of seamlessly goes in to the picture or the photo one might say. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of this teal color here just around the frame and I'm not going to do the rest because I want to make this kind of a shorter video so I'm going and I'm knocking like everything over. So. I'm just going to do the frame part so that you can see that. This is going to go really well with all my little birdies. My little reindeer and my birdies. And I also have a girl as well. You saw her in the picture. So he's looking pretty cute. Now, all you have to do, I just recommend, this is the only thing I recommend, is do your frame part where there's that little lip on the box. The reason for that is because you're going to fold that over like that. And it's just going to be able to kind of give you this seamless box look instead of the the seam facing you it's going to be facing away so just like that and then we're going to just put it together like so easiest part to do easiest part just give the um the see i need some more glue here just give the seam right here a little bit of warm glue i do have a variable temperature glue gun so that i don't burn myself all the time and i just did burn myself gosh i spoke too soon Oh, <laughs> so we've got, look, a box. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. I made a box. And then just fold in your <laughs> side pieces. Again, make sure that the front part is actually the, the part that um, is folding over away from you so that you have that nice look, seamless look. Seamless. I get it. Seamless. <laughs> you don't see the seams. <laughs> Man, I am slow on the uptake. All right. Going like so. Just like wrapping a present. Oh, got a little got a little piece right here that wanted to pop up. All right, and then I'm just going to rip that piece off. Like I said, vintage baby. Yeah. Look, he's kind of looks like a reindeer with a little with kind of little antler embellishment around him and then if you want to make him pop a little bit more from this you can trace around the edges add little um, marks around the edges just to make it look that much more like a frame but look at how good he goes with my birdie oh he's so cute okay let's go to head cam and show you just kind of what these two guys looked like together i always think that you have to have more than one so i have probably a couple more of these to show as well but um yay they're like a happy little holiday family. <laughs> holiday forest creatures. <laughs> Alright, if you want to know more about this, go to andreacurrycrafts.com for this and other crafts too. Okay.